Just bring you guys the latest when it comes to Errol Spence versus Keith Thurman. So uh, yeah, it's looking like we'll see this fight in February. Uh, originally, when uh, news broke out about a potential fight between Spence and Thurman, um, you know, uh, there were talks about it possibly taking place in December, and I was hoping for it to take place in December because the sooner the better, in my opinion. But uh, now it looks like it's it's February. Uh, before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So according to Boxing Scene, um, as you guys can tell by the headline from the Boxing Scene article, Errol Spence versus Kate Terman has been approved by the WBA. So I guess the WBA has some type of rule where I guess if um, Spence, who is the champion, uh, the unified champion, WBA, WBC, w, uh, IPF, um, is you know unified champion I guess there's some type of rule where I guess it has to be approved by the WBA uh, where he has to fight Keith Thurman who by the way uh, was ordered to fight uh, was fans ordered to fight him by the WBC the WBC ordered this fight recently at the WBC convention over in Mexico and now um, it has been approved by the WBA so it says here and I quote it reads on November 14, 2022, TGB Promotions applied for a special permission on behalf of Spence to fight Thurman in February 2023, but with specific mandatory conditions. Pursuant to WBA's Rule C-16, which states that mandatory defense periods can be modified for a cause either by special permission request or in own initiative, the WBA decided that Spence can face Thurman. Um, so I guess because people are expecting Spence to fight already for or the WBA was expecting Spence to fight for the WBA uh, uh, against the man WBA mandatory. And if you look at the division right now, um, the welterweight division, uh, we have Stan Yonis, who is the in the regular champion, and Virgil Ortiz, who is the um, number one contender. And I believe the WBA just ordered this fight. Uh, I guess that's the reason why they ordered this fight because Spence got this permission to fight um, Kit Terman. Yeah, it's weird, man. I don't know. The WBA, WBC, IBF, they they, they really have to be able to work together uh, better. To I, did, they, I mean, they do have agreements. All these four <laughs> sanctioning bodies, they have agreements in place where um, you know when it comes to who's mandatory comes next first. They they try to keep it civil uh, in terms of who goes first um, but yeah uh, Keith Thurman um, it's looking like it's he's definitely gonna be the next opponent for Spence um, crazy because it would be nice it would be nice to see Thurman stay would if he stayed busy throughout the past few years I think this fight would have been a bigger fight if he did coming off loss to Manny Pacquiao I don't know why he decided to have a little mini vacation or mini retirement after loss, losing Pacquiao back in 2019. He fought he in 2019. He he fought Pacquiao, lost that fight, and did not fight at all since February of of uh, this year. Took the long layoff, spent all that money Pacquiao money, and I guess now that he's running out of money, he's back. So, anyway, I guess we should be hearing some official news soon, um, probably sometime in the next few weeks or so. Um, when's the next big PBC event probably sometime around then but we'll see I'll keep you guys updated let me know what you guys think let me know your thoughts thanks for listening and watching and like always have a great day alright thanks